Hello and welcome back. Hi, sis. Hi, sis. Hi. Hi, everyone. Good morning. We're doing review lesson number 149. We're still into this main idea, which is so, so important. My mind holds only what I think with God. The two sub lessons are covering one lessons 137 which is, as I am healed, I am not healed alone. And 138, heaven is the decision I must make. So let's take a look together at 137. As I am healed, I am not healed alone. You know, this is referring back to the truth that there is just the, the one mind of God which is why I only hold the thoughts that I think with the mind of God. That's the only one. The ego thought system is not a mind. It's not intelligent. It's just a program that consists of a collection of the suggested opposites of what God is knowing. So because there's just the one mind, each one of us as his beloved child, we express that mind. So again, so as God is expressing mind through his ideas, each one of us, that's when we're actually thinking. God's thoughts are the, are the only time that we're actually uh, expressing intelligence. So when this mind of ours, which we share, one of us is in the awakening process, or we have a revelation, or the light comes on, that's not for ourselves alone as one individuated expression of the sleeping mind begins to awaken and allows more light like a light that fills a room it's lit for every aspect of the one mind that we share uh, it might seem kind of silly but i think about it at like a uh, tiffany stained glass lampshade you know so beautiful different little bits of glass, each one making the whole, but each one a unique little cut piece, having its own unique color and bringing something to the whole. And so when that light, when, when the light is healed within it, the mind, the, the light that comes through or that's allowed to come through shines ever more brightly for the entire shade. So as we all begin to awaken, it doesn't just benefit us alone. This is why there's no private um, forgiveness. There's no private accepting the atonement. Um, it's true we need to accept atonement for ourselves. My individuated expression is waking up to the whole that we are, but I'm accepting in my acceptance of the atonement, I'm accepting that I'm one with you and that I'm one with God. And that all there is to me is God expressing itself. Um, when we get to see a brother or sister awaken, we get to see more of the light in them. That light shines. And as we see that light, that reminds us that we too are that light. So it's, it's quantum. Mm -hmm. It's holographic. Mm -hmm. And when, when we begin to love God and love our brother as ourself, you know, we, we will want this for the entire sonship. We will want our brother's healing, knowing that our brother's healing is our own. We'll know that our brother's call for love is literally our own call for love. Um, so we wouldn't treat anybody the way that we wouldn't want somebody else to treat us. So it's just this one mind waking up. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautifully expressed. Mm. Thank you. Um, yeah. Just asking yeah. if there's anything else on that. Sorry? I said I'm just asking if there's anything else on that. Um, you know, I, I love this one, which is paragraph 10 in the original lesson, 137. Those who are healed become the instruments of healing. Yeah. And I think experientially uh, you sis and myself amongst others uh, that we know especially in our TTC too we're witnessing it uh, every week mm -hmm. is that uh, when we heal we're never healed alone right yeah because 
what's happening is we're realizing that even those around us in the TTC, they're becoming instruments of healing. They're helping to heal each other. Mm -hmm. Big, big, big stuff. He says, those who are healed become the instruments of healing. Nor does time elapse between the instant they are healed. Mm -hmm. That's when we accept the atonement. Mm -hmm. And all the grace of healing, it is given them to give. We receive it and we want to give it because it's joyous to give it. Yes. What is opposed to God does not exist. Mm -hmm. And who accepts it not within his mind becomes a haven where the weary can remain to rest for here is truth bestowed and here are all illusions brought to truth yeah so beautiful that's so true I'm, I'm watching the ttc family that those you know when we started how many years ago was it huh. i don't even remember um 2016 it's 2021 okay. five years so five years wow. ago um, those that are entering into the TTC now seem to be able to pick up where it took, you know, the first round of TTC, I was there, um, like eight or nine months to get, you know, it's just, it's amazing that when they fall into sync with the group that there's just a quickening, there's an undeniable quickening. If every single person that came in had to start from square one and start from scratch and, you know, it would be like this prolonged thing. But the new the ones that come in, they just jump right in with this huge acceleration, like this kind of a foundation already built in. And that's just proof that there's just the one mind waking up. Yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. It's much easier for those that are coming in later waves, mm -hmm. it seems. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm happy for that. Like, if I'm going to go through this dark night or whatever, um, to know that it might be easier for somebody else to come through, uh, yes, yes, please. It's, it's worth it, isn't it? Bring it. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Um, the other idea here is on Lesson 138, heaven is the decision I must make. And that really comes back to and boils down to that the only thing that we're ever doing is making a decision. Um, think of it as the light switch is on either on or off. It's depending on what teacher you're going within and listening to. Mm -hmm. It depends on whether you're allowing ego as fear to be the lens through which you perceive and interact through with your brothers and the world and yourself. Um, or if you are joining with the Holy Spirit in a, in a, I don't know what this is for state of mind is complete humility. Yes. Deep humility, meekness and asking Holy Spirit to, to, you know, show you right mm -hmm. to reveal to you the light, to look with you upon everything. So that's all we can do because as soon as you're with the ego, you're in gap land and nothing real is occurring. So you're not doing anything in the land of illusions. Nothing's actually occurring. We're not accomplishing anything in truth. We're asleep. It has no more reality than the stuff you dreamt about last night. Although I, I understand it feels more per pervasive, but it's dream stuff. The only time anything real is going on is when God is showing up, when we're allowing, we're in an undefended state against God. That means we're allowing the Holy Spirit to be our mind. And this is what the Holy Spirit brings to our awareness, what God is and what we are as its image and likeness. So Holy Spirit doesn't force this. You can't see two worlds at the same time. We're either here or here completely. You can't have a little bit of both. So the only thing that we're at liberty to do is to make a choice. And Jesus is so patiently saying, guys, only one of it's real. It's not really a choice at all. He's called it the choiceless choice. It's either reality is occurring or you're asleep. Mm -hmm. Dreaming death's dream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doesn't so sound like I hand you the kingdom of heaven. It has to be a choice. 
you have to understand that it this has nothing that you want and we will eventually all hit the wall as the prodigal son we'll have that moment and that's the best moment it feels like the worst moment but it means you're turning around and you're actually opening up to Holy Spirit and saying there must be a better way and indeed there is and you begin the journey back to your holy self sorry sis what were you gonna say yeah so heaven is a decision I must make you must make it and and it's in every well until our trust is transferred from fear to love, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's something that we need to maintain uh, constant vigilance with if we really want it. Right. So it's being present in each moment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and asking, is it the Holy Spirit in my mind or is it the ego yes. that's speaking right now? Am I thinking with God? Am I feeling with God? Or am I feeling and thinking with the ego? Yeah. Am I forgiving? Or am I damning my brother or sister to hell? <laughs> yeah. right? You have to like be present. What's happening? Is this right. is this How do I feel? right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And forgiveness opportunity. The word opportunity should be uplifting. Mm -hmm. A forgiveness opportunity if it presents it when it presents itself it's a gift heaven is a decision i must make so it's a gift that we bring to ourselves so yeah and it's a decision that we will not through the ego mind we will not try and manipulate mm -hmm. others or our life any longer right? and we're going to also we're also going to learn to be real to be authentic and to communicate authentically to allow the joining to occur yeah yeah, yeah. thank you great that was a great summary yeah <laughs> there's a lot to undo damn it right <laughs> there is each one of these. i'm telling you we could do a retreat on each one of these and it's uh but just to get the recap and to touch on the main points because we can't hear them enough you know it's like you said we waffle back and forth all day long you know we're here we're here we're here we're here i'm yeah. doing great oh fear oh you know <laughs> oh my gosh right but it's required it's the discipline and the consistency and checking in like a barometer where am i how do i feel am i in fear and conflict am i in judgment or am i in a state of forgiveness and gratitude state yeah. of peace yeah thank you yeah all right, so my mind holds only what I think with God. As I am healed, I am not healed alone. And heaven is the decision I must make. Right. Thank you for that lesson, sis. Sure. Thank you, beautiful family. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Thanks family.